Happy New Year from the Pac West. This is Wayne Coito, and you're watching The Road to Irvine, getting you ready for the Pac West Basketball Championships, March 2nd to the 4th, hosted by Concordia University. Nice. Off the ball screen. One of the biggest matchups of the season thus far on the men's side was between the two hottest teams heading into the Pac West slate HPU and CBU. The Sharks would keep this January 3rd game on the island close for most of the way, behind a balanced team effort and Connor Looney's 15 points. But the Lancers were too much down the stretch. Down five points with four minutes to go. Lancers from the corner. Got it. Oh, Michael Smith with a dagger. Preseason Pac West Player of the Year Michael Smith laid down a double-double with 28 points and 10 boards. Smith is also the league leader in points per game this season in the conference with nearly 25 a game. Now while Cal Baptist gave Hawaii Pacific its first taste of defeat, it was Dixie State who treated the Lancers to their first loss of the season. If the Back West Tournament were to be held today, here is what the men's bracket would look like. With Dixie State currently at 7-1, claiming the number one seed. The school from St. George's singular defeat, a one-point overtime loss at Azusa. The nation's number 19 ranked HBU at 6-1 is now in the number 2 spot with CBU, Division 2's 5th ranked program, sitting at number 3 with a 5-1 record. Concordia is the 4th ranked team in the Pac West currently but is not eligible to compete in this year's tournament. Chaminade therefore slides in at number 4. They are winners of 6 of their last 7 games. Point Loma is the 5th seed at 5-3. They are led by one of the best freshmen in the Pac West, Sterling Summers who has scored in double digits in five consecutive games. And then the Urban Knights. Academy of Vart is 3-3 three three behind the strong guard play of Defender of the Week, Uchenna Okineme. Noticeably absent is Azusa Pacific, but there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. The women's side features a couple of teams trying to pull away from the pack. The first is the country's number 11th ranked, Cal Baptist. Behind one of the top scorers in the conference, Cassidy Milhoko, the Lancers have ripped off 12 straight wins, while the Sea Lions got a nice streak of their own going, of eight straight. Point Loma upset the number one team in the nation in the NCAA tournament a couple years ago, and is looking to return to the postseason once more. If the women's tournament were held today, California Baptist would be your one seed, with Point Loma sitting at number two. Recent tournament champ HPU, top two in the Pac West in both scoring and defense, resides at number three, with Academy of Art, the first ever tournament champ, at number four. In the fifth spot is defending tournament champion Azusa Pacific, and sneaking up on everyone is Notre Dame de Namur, currently the sixth seed and looking to make a lot of noise down the stretch. Now that's a wrap on this week's edition of The Road to Irvine. For all your basketball needs, make sure you head over to thepackwest.com. That's thepackwest.com, and that's where you can find all the latest standings and statistics and you can find out just who will be there in Irvine, March 2nd to the 4th at Concordia University. This is Wayne Cueto saying, see you at the games.